So today is August 3rd. You may be wondering why I'm wearing scrubs today. Well, it's because I'm finally seeing patients. We have a thing called uh, clinical rotations, which starts at the beginning of your third year. This year, clinical rotation has been pushed back for two months. I was told that clinical rotations used to start like around June. So right now it's August, obviously. Yeah, I'm excited. The thing is, I feel like there's gonna be a huge learning curve because We've only been taught how to use the charting once. And I feel like that's not a sufficient amount of time. So we're going to have to see. If you didn't know, Temple Podiatry School is located right around Chinatown. There's many places where you can grab food for lunch or dinner or breakfast. Looks like stores in Chinatown are slowly starting to open up. I was here a couple days ago. For some reason, most of them were closed, but now I see all their doors open. So feel free to come around and check out the campus if you're you know, ever in the area. I just got done with my clinic. So the clinic today was a bit anticlimactic. I only had one patient and I feel like I didn't really get the full experience because I was missing out on like doing the patient's physical exam and whatnot. But I mean, the, the whole thing was a mess. I should have, so I only did one patient and I, the most, most people did at least like two patients per session. There's a AM session, there's a PM session. And I had the PM session. I was supposed to do two patients, but my second patient didn't even come in. So I did one patient and you know, the physical and stuff, I forgot to even do it. Um, I don't know, I just feel like today was kind of a, waste i i could have done so much more on my first you know on the first appointment <sighs> I don't, anyway there's always so next times my story was i was with another group they were there in the morning and what they said was you know everyone was really lost and the clinician actually had to say you guys need to calm down because you guys are just everywhere. You're like hellish chickens just running around everywhere. So yeah, that was funny. And just from my one day experience of uh, treating patients, I would recommend anyone who's maybe starting out clinics for their first time, just write out everything. Because when you write out stuff, you actually know the order of what to come next. But when you are doing it on a computer for the first time, you're not gonna know what order the the chart maker the the, the app the app that you're actually putting your chart in like you don't know the order for it so I would recommend any first timers just write out everything before you actually put it in the chart it's solid advice from someone who's just gone through it today tropical storm Isaias is supposed to pass by around 12 p.m. today and I have a surgical lab at from 9 to 12. I was really hoping that my professor would cancel class today, but he hasn't. So we're doing this for uh, ingrown toenail. If a patient gets it removed, we're gonna put this on top of the nail. Then we're gonna wrap it. Oh, like overlap. Yeah, so like, I'll look to the middle, and then I just put a little bit further that way. Okay, and that'll be it. So Aaron, can you tell us what you did? Or actually, what you did to my foot? Sure, so this is for like the central digits. So the second through the fourth toes, essentially. And what you do is you take a horseshoe plantar flex the metarsophalangeal joint mm -hmm. and then you're going to do the same thing on the top of the foot but you're going to extend or like at least neutralize the inner phalangeal joint so the middle end i think you just confused half my audience <laughs> can you tell us like what, what exactly you're treating for essentially you're trying to make this joint point down mm -hmm. while these joints point up just got done bandaging for those who don't know what bandaging is it's essentially when you're finished with a surgery 
and you're trying to fix a certain position on the patient's foot. The wind is crazy right now and I'm like trying to get to my car, I'm getting wet. So this is the parking spot near where I park. It's usually full, but as you can see today, there's a, there's a freaking tropical storm coming. That's why no one's working. You would think school let their students stay home when there's a tropical storm, but you know, obviously that's not the case. Empty, empty parking lot. Mild flooding. Good morning. So today is Wednesday. I don't have much planned. I'm going to the gym right now. It's like 530. I'm going early. I don't want to get in close contact with anyone in the gym. So going going early is the right thing to do. Make sure you guys wear masks. Not much to do today. I do have a, a law exam at 12 p.m. It's not too bad for 530. Not many people on the weights. This day turned out to be quite a bit of a lot. For example, taking an online exam, practicing how to suture. <laughs> Going over some articles regarding Achilles rupture for tomorrow's clinical rotation. It's always a good idea to read beforehand so that you can gain the most out of tomorrow's experience. I'm not sure how much I can film today. It's kind of loaded. So I'll try my best to film something. But in the meantime, I'll see you guys when I'm done. Hello everybody, today is Friday. Unfortunately, I didn't get to record any of my suture labs and obviously my clinical sessions. Um, I was so tired, I was knocked out yesterday. Today is Friday. I will have AM and PM sessions in the clinic. So I'll probably at least see four patients today. So it's gonna be a lot, I mean, it's even though I have been in the clinic for two days now, charting is still fairly new. And charting, putting people's uh, information into the computer, it's still new. It, I'm still very slow at it. And when you first learn to chart, you begin to realize that there's so many scenarios where you aren't sure what to put in. So for example, yesterday someone came in for a nail department, which is nail trimming, and you still have to write a soap note for it. And I was just so confused because the patient had no pain, the patient had nothing other than long toenails, and you know, I still had to write a soap note. <laughs> it's like, what do you write for it? The patient came in to get the nail, uh, nails trimmed, but fortunately, Fortunately, a fourth year helped me out, so I got that done, but that took a while because it was counterintuitive. Like, they came in for a nail trimming and you're still writing a soap note for it, but that's the way it is. Is it recording? All right, what's up guys? So today I was able to see at least like four patients. My charting was fine. There's no major complaints from my clinician. So I feel like that's a big and major improvement because I could not do it myself the first two days, but on the third day, somehow, you know, no complaints. So that's a progress. Next week, we have an updated schedule. So I'll be doing radiology by myself and perhaps with an MA all next week. And the following week, I have another schedule so now we're broken up into a.m. p.m. I'll be taking care of the a.m. radiology schedule for next week.